Welcome back to the John and Joe podcast. Yes. And we have a special guest today. Can you guess who it is? And her name is? Grace. Grace what? Matthewson. Grace Nicole Matthewson. Mm-hmm. I'm excited about this. Mommy and Daddy, you didn't know this. Mommy and Daddy have been planning on doing this for a while. Yep. But you didn't know, did you? Super surprised, right? I just found you out. Like call me Kate is here. Yeah, I know. Your you were busy playing, and mm-hmm. then all of a sudden, now it's podcast time, right? Mm-hmm. Well, you like to do podcasts, right? Yeah. Well, today, do you remember the name of the book that we're doing today? The Giving Tree. The yeah. Giving Tree. Now, do you remember who gave us this book originally? Amy. Yeah. And me. Because I, we all went. Oh, you went and picked it out, too? Yeah. I didn't even movie. know that. Mm-hmm. Yep. And it was a really good book. Yeah, you... Mommy and Mike's still doing a slow like, fade on this. <laughs> what just happened? <laughs> Sorry about that. So, yeah, who put this together? I don't know. I blame the marketing and media guys. <laughs> All right, Grace, you ready to read this? Okay. We're gonna. So today's plan is we're going to read the book. Grace can interrupt at any time if you I, have a question. I feel like I should chime in here. Do it. Grace is... It's kind of like not allowed to chime in because if we let her to chime in normally, at home. Normally, yeah. When we read home. every night, yeah. Because then reading time becomes, and you other parents know. Very long. And if you're <laughs> at the end of the day, it's like, I'm going to find the shortest book that we <laughs> can I read. And I might skip a page. Just kidding. We don't do that, <laughs> do we? What? Sometimes. What? All right. So, <laughs> so today, Grace, you can stop Daddy at any point. And you. And, well, Daddy's reading it, but yeah, you mm-hmm. can stop. Yeah, it is. If you haven't read The Giving Tree, I already recommend it, especially if you have children. We're going to read it here, and we're going to talk about it. What do you say? You ready? Yes, John, but okay. can you change your voice for the characters? <laughs> oh, man. Can you do it with an accent? <sighs> There's a lot of pressure on me right now. There's thousands of people that are going to hear this. <laughs> yes, is that right? We're going to try. We're going to try. You got this. It, but this is a unique tree. And it does sometimes change the way it talks throughout the story. Mm-hmm. Just yeah. remember that the tree is called a f- uh, a female. <laughs> I needed that. Okay. Once there was a tree. It's a good page, right? All right. You're excited about this? I could tell. And she, thank you, Mommy, loved a little what? Can you read that word? Bo- boy. Boy. Right? All right. And every day, the boy would come. Here he comes running. What do you think about that little guy? (laughs) He's pretty happy, huh? All right. And he would gather her leaves. What do you think he's going to do with them? Nothing? What would you do with a bunch of leaves? Yeah, what do you do with a bunch of leaves? Make a craft of You do like craft? to make crafts. That's right. And he, that's what he did. He made them into crowns and played <laughs> king of the forest. Have you ever played queen of the forest? I mean king. Well, Not but queen. you're a queen. <laughs> I don't or know. Or princess of the forest. Okay. <laughs> There's no princess of the forest. No, no, no princess of the forest. You're right. Sorry. He would climb up her trunk. And swing from her branches. I know it comes next. What? Eating the apples. You Ooh, think so? Think. We're going to see. Either yeah. that or you just did a spoiler for somebody out there. <laughs> and eat apples. You were right. Grace, you have this book memorized. And would play hide and go seek. Fun. You ever played hide and go seek with a tree? <laughs> did you play with Quinny? Wait, what was that you did? Tell everybody what that was. That's no. That's no. This is no, this is yes. Yeah. He just taught everybody something today. <laughs> All right. Even if they knew that. And when he was tired, he would sleep in her shade. Fun fact, Grace loves taking naps. No. <laughs> oh, I, sorry. No, that's me, babe. Yeah, my bad. <laughs> and the boy loved the tree. Aww. Very much. And the tree was? Happy. Happy. Yeah, not a chin rest, crazy girl. (laughs) All right. But time went by. Grace, what is time? I don't know. You don't know? It's okay. I don't either, really. 
and the boy grew older. Wait, how many feet are there? Four. Why is there four feet? Because there's another person. What? Where did they come from? Mm, there's two hearts. Yep, two What's, hearts. So what is one that? says it's from it's me and someone with the initials Y L. And then me and T. For tree. Hmm. Wonder who Y and L is. You don't know, huh? Do you know a name that starts with Y? Don't we have? Don't put your cheek on it. I don't know. What about yellow? You think someone should be named yellow? No. No. Okay. And the boy grew older, and the tree was often alone. Uh oh. Oh no. <laughs> then this is where it gets fun. One day, the boy came to the tree, and the tree said, Come, boy, climb up my trunk and swing from the branches and eat apples and play in my shade and be happy. At this point in the tree's life, it's pretty up there already. I'm too big to climb and play, said the boy. I want to buy things and have fun. I want some money. Can you give me some money? What would you do if you had money right now? Mm-mm. Come on. Oh, it, I think of something. Mm-mm. Yeah, what no. would you go buy? Anything. A toy. Oh, which one? Or what kind of toy? Shotguns. Oh, I don't even know what you just said. <laughs> Shotguns. Shotguns? Yeah. What is a shotgun? It's little, it's little food, but they have a mouth. Face. And a face. A mouth and a face. That's good, because if it was just a mouth, that would be a little weird. Okay. I'm sorry, said the tree, but I have no money. I have leaves and apples. Take my apples, boy, and sell them at the city. Then you will have money and be happy. Have you ever sold anything? Mm. Yeah. Okay. And so the boy climbed up the tree and gathered her oh, apples. Yeah. Remember that? No. Oh. No. <laughs> That's what mommy said. Yeah. Remember when you took him to the fair? Oh, yeah, but no one took him. Well, Somebody did. I think one person bought one. I bought one. At and least mommy. one. <laughs> yeah, he sold to a lot of people. And so the boy climbed up the tree, the gathered her apples, and carried them away. And the tree was happy. But the boy stayed away for a long time. I know what a he long time. How does he look now? Like a grown up. Yeah. And the tree yeah. was sad. Yeah, it's been a hard life for this guy. And the tree was sad. And then one day the boy came back. And the tree shook with joy, and she said, Come, boy, climb my trunk and swing from my branches and be happy. I'm too busy to climb trees, said the boy. I want a house to keep me warm, he said. I want a wife, and I want children, and so I need a house. Can you give me a house? Okay, gotta wait. I have no house, said the tree. The forest is my house. But you may cut off my branches and build a house. Then you will be happy. Look, she was a smoker, too. Okay? <laughs> it was a hard life for this Chain, tree. Chain smoker. <laughs> and so the boy cut off her branches and carried them away to build his house. And the tree was happy. happy. Wait, you got to say it in the mic. Got to sit up. The tree was happy. happy. But the boy stayed away for a long time. And when he came back, the tree oh, was so happy. No. She could hardly... Why? Why did you say, oh, no? Because I know what's next. <laughs> oh, no. Is it going to be a good part? No. <laughs> Don't say. Okay. Come, boy, she whispered. Come and play. I'm too old to play, said the boy. I want a boat that will take me far away from here. He's pretty old at this point, if you can't tell. like it. Can you give me a boat? Cut down my trunk and make a boat, said the tree. The tree's getting quite <laughs> older, too. That's what happens. <laughs> then sail away and be happy. So the boy... Hey, you watching? <laughs> so the boy cut down her trunk. Oh, man. Hey, and Gracie. made a boat and sailed away. Gracie, what, how, do you like this picture? No. Why? <laughs> Why? Because he's going to go soon. He's leaving. Mm-hmm. Cut down the tree. And the tree was? Happy. But not really, huh? Oh. Not really. So it's the first time in the book where it says, not really was the tree happy. Why do you think the tree wasn't happy? 
Because that. Because why? Because it's all gone. Yeah, the mm. tree had nothing left to give. But it does. <gasps> Don't Let's say. Okay. How do you know that? After a long time, the boy came back again. Man, this is going to be a fun one. I'm sorry, boy, said the tree. Now it sounds like a wicked witch. But I have nothing left to give you. My apples are gone. My teeth are too weak. Wait, sorry. I always <laughs> miss that part. T trees don't have teeth. My teeth are too weak for apples, said the boy. <laughs> Did you like that one? <laughs> My branches are gone, said the tree. You cannot swing on them. I'm too old to swing on the branches, said the boy. My trunk is gone, said the tree. You cannot climb. I'm too tired to climb, said the boy. What's the matter? You're like, sold the boy. You like kept going. Oh, yeah, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm really into character yes, here. I can tell. I'm sorry, said the tree. I wish that I could have something... But I have nothing. I am just an old stump and very sorry. <gasps> I don't need very much now, said the boy. <laughs> just a quiet place to sit and rest. I'm very tired. And now he's been across the pond. Well, said the tree, straightening herself up as much as she could. Well, an old stump. It's good for sitting and resting. You knew it. Come, boy. Sit down and rest. And the boy did. And the tree was... Happy. Happy. The end. Happy. The giving tree. Yes. And I was talking to... Was I talking to you? Like, uh, I can really relate with this tree. Tell me. As a parent, um, yes, you I want to give everything... That I can to this little girl. Yeah. And and Gwenny. And, Gwenny. <laughs> and so when they come to me at a certain age, when they, you know, they ask for anything, like in that instance Shopkins. in the book, Chopkins, it asks for, you know, money. Do you have money? But the tree was like, you know, I don't have money, but I have this. And the, he asked for, you know, I want a house. He's like, well, I don't have a house, but you can... You can have my branches, and I want a boat. I don't have a boat, but use use a part of me to make a boat. Yeah. And it just was giving itself the whole time, and um, to a point where, if, and it was happy. Yeah. It was happy that it was able to to give that to give with it, what it could give. With what it could give, it was yeah. very happy. But what you noticed in the whole time was he was never happy. Yeah. <laughs> he never said the little boy was happy or the. the yeah. The, yeah. Right. Or whatever, right? What's interesting is that each time the tree gave of something, it wasn't what the little boy wanted, right? right? But it, what it did was it created an experience for that individual to go through. Mm -hmm. So he couldn't give him money. They gave him apples. He had to go and experience what it took to take something and now sell it and face a whole bunch of things, right? I know I'm reading way into it, but <laughs> right, had to face rejection, had to face a whole bunch of stuff, and then came back, and so. I don't actually, I never looked up maybe if there really is a deeper meaning. Obviously, I think there is with this. I don't really know what it roots in at all. Yeah. Other than what I can see, you know, is that we we already have everything inside of us that our children need. Yeah. You know? I like that. It doesn't mean that we have everything that they're going to ask us for. But we have everything that they need or else I don't believe our Heavenly Father would have trusted us with them to mm. take care of them. That's good. And... But what you find sad, right, is that, you know, the boy only went back when he needed something. Mm -hmm. So as a parent, obviously, we want to work to create an environment where it's an ongoing relationship, you know, with yeah. our children True. and with our Heavenly Father. That we don't just go when we need something, yeah. but we go on a regular basis because it's about a relationship and it's not about... I need this or I need this or I need to do this or I'm supposed to do this. But it's about building a relationship with our Heavenly Father. Mm -hmm. All right, Grace. Do you have any extra thoughts What's your about input? the book? You got to give us something. After, tell us. After hearing that book again, tell us something about it. What was your favorite part? No, I don't know. Or mm -mm. Come on, you got to think of something. 
favorite no, part? No. Was it when he took the apples? Or was it when he sat down on the stump? Or when he made the crown? Or when he chopped it down? Played hide and go seek? When he was a kid or when he was old? What was your favorite part? When he sat on it. When he sat on it at the end? And finally rested. How come that's your favorite part? Because it's funny. It's funny. <laughs> I do notice at the end, finally, the boy doesn't say, says, like, I don't need much anymore. Yeah. Or it's like, I don't need anything now. And He needed a rest. Yeah, he needed a rest. And we all need rest. That's a long podcast. But yeah, I think that's it. Grace, anything else you want to say on the giving tree or to anybody else watching our book review? Our book recap of The Giving Tree. Yeah, that's who wrote it, I think. Hey, and Gracie, did you know we're going to give away this yeah. book? How do you think we should give it away? Put it in the basket. Oh, put it in the basket? Yeah. Okay. Why are we going to give that book away? Because we have one. This is not ours. We just bought this to give it away to somebody. Wait a minute. Since it's a giving tree, if you had to pick one person right now to give this away to, who would you give it away to? Adelaide. Okay. That's Adeline's book. Okay. We got to get it to her. Okay. Thanks for watching. We wanted to mix it up a little bit different this time and have a special guest on. Grace, can you say hi to everybody and bye? Hi. And bye. Thanks for being on our podcast this week. And we'll see you on the next episode where we will give away the book from last week, which is Beauty and Battle, which just got posted today. And um, we'll start going over our next one. Bye.